Hello, welcome to this video looking at spatial and temporal interpolation in Premiere Pro 2021. So I want to explain the difference between temporal and spatial interpolation, provide a few examples. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some stuff in our project. First thing we're going to do is do a color matte background. And I have a Jean Pompomus color. Anyone, anyone's uh, French? I think so you spell it. I might be wrong, I don't know. And that's what this looks like. Now, if you ever want to, if you have a timeline like this, you can press backslash and it will fill the fill the page. And the next item we want to put in is a black video. And we're going to put the black video on top. And then we don't actually want to do anything with a background here, so I'm going to just lock it. So just so we can actually see it on the background, we're just going to remove, we're just going to change the size here. So the best thing to do is we start making some keyframes. So we'll just make them in a few different places. So this one can be over here and higher. We can move it somewhere else. And we'll just, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We'll just do three keyframes. Let's not overcomplicate these things. Okay, so there's our keyframes. And if we run the clip now, you can see, you can look at it running. Uh, so what are these keyframes? You can see they're diamond in shape. And you can see we've got temporal interpolation and spatial interpolation. Uh, temporal, it says linear, and spatial, it says auto bezier. So, uh, so the first thing to mention is if you're actually gonna adjust these movements with a graph, you're always dealing with temporal interpolation. So you can see, this is currently a linear graph. So if I moved any of these points, you can see the temporal interpolation changes automatically to Bezier. Let's actually go back and try to explain the difference between temporal and spatial interpolation. And a good way to do that is if we look at a keyframe here, like I mentioned, we've got temporal and we've got spatial. So let's look at the opacity keyframe now. We'll create a keyframe. And if we click on this keyframe, you can see that we've got a smaller list. We don't have the menu of spatial or temporal. These are, these are simply temporal things that you can change. So they're going to change over time. But something like position has got a spatial component and a temporal component. Okay, so now I want to look at the spatial interpolation category of position. And let's look at the other three options, which are not linear. We've got Bezier, Auto Bezier, and Continuous Bezier. Now it's automatically set to Auto Bezier, and that means that Premiere Pro will control the way that it's gonna move spatially. And that's normally not what you want. You're either gonna want Bezier, or you're gonna want Continuous Bezier. Uh, bezier is, is disconnected, discontinuous, and Continuous is continuous. Okay, so let's look at Bezier first. Uh, so this has got less, features, I guess you could say, than continuous Bezier. All right, so when we move the Bezier, you can see with a point here, with a keyframe point, we've got, we can move this Bezier. And what is this doing? Well, we could say this is affecting the path between keyframe one and keyframe two. What about this one? Well, this is doing exactly the same thing, isn't it? Keyframe one and keyframe two, so affecting the path. And then that one's affecting two and three. And then this one, as you might imagine, just affecting the, the path between two and three. Now let's try changing it to a continuous Bezier. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's too much difference and you might not really notice it. If you looked at these paths, you say, well, that's just affecting the same. About this one yeah same thing really but it's when we look at the middle keyframe or in fact a multitude of middle keyframes we've only got one here you see what the actual difference is instead of this section affecting this path this section affecting this path this whole line is one thing right so it's one thing that you're affecting so it gives you more control in a sense over the movement so you notice our temporal interpolation is linear, 
and the spatial interpolation is continuous Bezier. But if we look at the graph, you can see that the time it takes is going to, it's going to go, it's going 480 per second here. It's going 440 per second here. So it's just going a linear amount of time. So it's going a linear amount of time as it goes through the points. Spatially, it's going through a continuous Bezier of points, but in time, it's simply going through a linear amount of time. Uh, let's try changing some of these then. And now you'll see that the temporal interpolation has changed itself to Bezier as well as the icon. And if we take a look at this, the velocity, you can see it's actually increasing and changing over time. And that's why it's a, a Bezier. So, so we can see here at point one, the speed is very high. And this is explained by, you see how the, the dots are, there's gaps between the dots here. This means this is only going to take, say, five frames to get to this point. However, to get to the next point, these, dot, these are dots that are so close together you can't even see the gap. And that means there's loads of frames in there. So say there's like 100 frames in there. Then when we get to this point, you can see there's only about five frames. So from this point to the keyframe, which is a fair distance, is only going to take about five frames. So it's going to go very, very quickly to that keyframe. And if you look at it in real time, you can see, you can see like, and you can see how that works. Anyway, so yeah, so I think that will do for this video. So thanks for watching.